think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? you just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. He's a bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. We got monsters out here. <clears throat> well. So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like, anyhow? Arthur, there you are. 
Come on! Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you, though, I do. Well, like leaving love aside, <laughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go.
Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah. Just take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. <clears throat> I think Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Montague. him in the front. Bill. Bill. Oh, you got him? Yeah. Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? You're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth! has got to be disposed oh, of! Oh, Our friends, the oh, Pinkertons, are gonna come and rescue you, you uh, repulsive uh, little maggot! Uh, oh, uh, 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 call them now! You call them! Philosophy books cover feeding the fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him.
telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't like it. It's the right plan. We've done the work. I've been in town. Look, watching and, and waiting. I've, I've tested it as well as I can. It's the right plan. I know. I just... My lady. Good morning. Everything okay? I guess. Bored? Well, we need to get you out on another job again soon. All right, Arthur. You're sure? Certain. Well, not certain it will be done, but certainly it can be done. Listen, this is the only way I see we can do it. I've timed it out more than once. You awake yet? What's going on? <clears throat> Jim? Look, the bank. Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city. There are police. But as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. When we do it at night, there's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm. I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> <laughs> trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? <laughs> Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some big town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny. Secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Gentlemen, 
Let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? The sea in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! One more time. Let's ride! Yeah! Catch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country. Stay cool. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. This, this is better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modic. Come of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. He is a true artist. <laughs> Come on! Got it. Okay, now, what's the second number? 72. All right, should be one more number. Last number. Come on! 54. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> what did I tell you? Holy shit, they weren't joking. <laughs> Come on, Shit. let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 